So, so what is uh, what is this one? So this is the Smart Step. It's an insole-based physical activity monitor. So you just put it in your uh, in your shoe in the morning, and then you go about your day, and it keeps track of your steps and all the calories that you burn. So there's a battery the here. Yes, that's a battery. And what kind of electronics? We got uh, semiconductors and then some pressure sensors. And uh, a, an accelerometer it helps to figure out: um, Are you running? Are you walking? Are you cycling? This part is flexible here. Yes, it's very flexible. All right. How long is the battery life? How long is battery life? Several days. Several uh, days. It depends on what centers they're on. All right. So, uh, what is Bitware Labs? Bitware Labs. Uh, oh, all right. Let me get up. It's a <laughs> spin-off from the University of Alabama, and it originates from the academic research in my lab. My name is Edward Sazanov. I'm a professor at the University of Alabama, and these are two projects which originated in my lab. One is a food intake monitor, another one is a physical activity monitor. So it's Acubyte and uh, Smart Step, right? Yeah, that's correct. So these are the, the first two, or you do already do a lot of stuff? Uh, we do a lot of stuff. Uh, I have other projects uh, where we... I mean, I typically work on kind of medical devices for monitoring of human condition. For example, food intake sensor research originated from the interest of the medical community in monitoring when somebody is eating and how much. And uh, This is how it looks like, right? Uh, yeah, this is a prototype that we have right now. And uh, how long is the battery life in this? Battery life in this one? Uh, two days. Two no, days? no, no. Uh, this, this one is actually... In this incarnation, I believe it's about one day. Yeah. Uh, should should you also have some kind of sensor inside the mouth somehow to kind of combine, or that's not going to be? Mm. Well, how would be the best way to actually really monitor how much calories gets absorbed? Maybe image recognition. That's or? a very challenging question. Even yeah. image recognition alone will not help you. Just because imagine you have a salad, right? And yeah. then on the salad you can have a fat-free dressing or normal dressing. And the caloric contents of the salad will be quite, quite different. So it's, it's a very challenging problem which has not been resolved today. But this is part of it. This is part of the solution, right? This is part of the solution. We can tell automatically when people are eating, we can characterize how much they're eating, and we can actually monitor eating habits. Like, there is a difference, you know, in the time and the number of chews and the number of swallows that you take if you're eating like 200 grams of food or eating two kilograms. Those are the extremes that we actually observed in our studies. Nice. So, and is this part of the, the solution yeah, here? Yeah, that's, that's the part of the demonstration. Uh, measuring here. And uh, so what's next? You're talking about getting to... What's next? Yeah, we want to uh, modify this prototype and make it consumer friendly so that people can practically use it. You, you know, humans are not very good at figuring out how much they eat. I mean, there has been numerous research literature on this, and I think the basic principle is, as long as you see food, you, you keep eating it. Yeah, you eat everything that's in the plate. That's, exactly, uh, that's yeah. evolutionary. You should understand yeah. that centuries of evolution developed this habit because, you know, there could be no food tomorrow, so you better eat yeah. everything you have today. Yeah. But the times have changed, so now this device is actually necessary to to help people. Nice. Do you have a lot, lots of other ideas? What kind of stuff you have you're gonna do at the at the Bitware Labs? Um, yeah, we have plenty of ideas. A lot of different projects, uh, medical applications. So for the Smart Step, we're using it in folks with a stroke, stroke rehabilitation. Uh, it actually we conducted a study with kids uh, with cerebral palsy, also trying to use in rehabilitation. Uh, I have projects where we're trying to develop devices uh, to help people curb smoking and, and so on and so on. Nice. Uh, fixing these issues in society instead of just people sit back and they don't do anything about it. Uh, right, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's the idea, trying to help with the problems. So what do you think about the ID Tech X, uh, about this show? Oh, ID Tech X is excellent. I mean, there are so many amazing products. Uh, I've been visiting the booths and uh, the quality is, is just over the top. Cool.